sense of urgency to help keep you and your family safer. There is now a 10-year extension to a law that most people may not even know existed. It's called the Undetectable Firearms Law, basically dealing with any gun made of any material that will not set off a metal detector. It is on its way to the full Senate now. Well, News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin has been out all night talking to people where these high-tech weapons will affect you and your family the most. Michael. Yeah, Chris, we spoke with a former cop who said although these guns may look like toys, the damage it can do to you is not make-believe. You like to think places where you go that generally have metal detectors like airports, maybe a Browns game, or you got to come here to the Justice Center for court. Because of security and metal detectors, you think you're safe. Now enter the plastic gun. Well, I think they're dangerous. Officer James Simone is a former cop of the Cleveland Police Department. So you could have the gun on you and simply walk through and they won't set it off. These plastic guns are made using a design that you can get off the internet and create it with a 3D imaging printer. In a nutshell, you feed the printer a blueprint, grab some plastic, and out comes a 3D object. You know, you're talking with law enforcement people are working the machines normally. They're looking for metal, you know, and if you have a plastic gun, I think it would be easy to pass through and not be detected. Now, under the law, you can make these guns as long as it contains a certain amount of metal in them. The problem comes when people take that metal out and use it as an undetected weapon. An Israeli TV station did a demonstration getting a plastic gun through security just steps away from its prime minister. The ones I've seen and read about, uh, they don't always work. They don't work properly. They blow up. They're only good for three or four shots because they're plastic. But it doesn't do you any good if you're the victim of the first shot. All right, now the federal law expires on December 9th, and there are those that feel that if there's any lag time, that could create a black market. We'll keep on, con on top of Congress and let you know what they do. We'll have on your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. And some on your side information about other gun laws to help keep your family safe. There is a carry and conceal law here in Ohio, but to get a permit, you must complete 12 hours of firearms safety training. Most businesses do not allow guns to be carried into their stores and restaurants. There is no assault weapons ban here in Ohio. And just in the last month, Ohio lawmakers have begun working on a stand your ground type of law, allowing gun owners to protect themselves.